coming up to our next feature which is our uh, bar tracery now what is bar tracery bar tracery is kind of a frame which in gothic architecture was used over your windows now this whole whole element which i'm darkening this is basically called a bar tracery and this element was constructed over your normal window with stone the stone was carved out in beautiful patterns which again had some pointy edges so this was the kind of arch which was being used and the whole frame which was uh, pasted over your actual window it was referred to as bar tracery you can see for reference in this one uh, you can see the image for the reference this was this was again one of the different features which was introduced here it used to increase the actual beauty of your window because you are putting up a different frame made up of stone which was embedding it which was coming out of your glass so this helped in reducing the amount of light which goes inside your building and it gives it very beautiful look again the pattern which was used inside this bar tracery it was basically floral geometrical and mostly pointed again so as to give it a look of a pointed arch architecture the next feature is the stained glass windows now stained glass windows everyone knows about it now in stained glass windows the internal filling of the window the glass of the window was actually painted with different colors and they were beautifully carved in bright colors and the things which were carved out on this they were basically geometrical patterns and other than that they also had life uh, had uh, scenes from the life of jesus as well now the last feature uh, sorry the second last feature that we are going to discuss is flying buttress now what buttress actually is buttress is actually suppose i have a building something like this and maybe like this so what happens here is suppose my building is having too much of load over itself and it is it is becoming difficult for this building to send out the whole load into the ground through this area so what happens is this extra element which i am sketching out here this extra element is joined with this actual building so that it can take the it can support the building so this is the external feature which is added added in the later on stages which helps in taking up the load now what happens here is earlier which load was being spread out through these two pillars now this is your pillar one and this is your pillar two so these two pillars were initially taking the whole load of your building but if the load is increased what will happen a bending moment will come and this will tend to fall this will break this external support helps in maintaining the complete building this portion this element was actually called as buttress now what flying buttress is this thing has a small story there was one uh, church which was built up in gothic uh, era which uh, due to earthquake it started having bending moment in this area again the church looked the church looked something like this only this this and maybe these are the external areas it looked something like this it had all the pointy edges all the pointy edges like this everywhere 
now what happened was due to earthquake what happened this started shaking and they got bend in these areas so the buildings started to deteriorate it was supposed to collapse it was about to collapse so they had to come up with a, a solution that does not affect the whole building and they did not want to reconstruct the whole building again plus there was one again one uh, drawback that they had very less space here so that they could built up this portion known as buttress so they came up with a new solution in which they made one external element far away from their building and they joined this building with a element like this now the load distribution that we were talking about earlier it was going like this in this zone it was it was distributed uh, through uh, it was distributed it's distributed among the buttress and in this case now this thing is installed far away from your actual building but again this will help in distributing the load because this element which is which has been provided here this is a, a flying this is called a flying buttress this is your buttress this is your flying buttress sometimes people all together call this whole element as a flying buttress so you know about the basic concept now what was the history about it since this is far away and this looks like a bridge kind of a thing that's why it, it looks like it's flying it is in the air it does not have a support that's why it is referred to as a flying buttress now the last feature that we are going to study is called gargoyles now i'll tell the feature about this using an image one two okay so the this creature that you see here this is a gargoyle again this was used in most of the fantasy comic series of batman and gotham city so this you can see this might represent something dark something evil but in actual what happened was this gargoyle it was used it was used for two things first to eliminate evil evil or we can say negative energies so people in gothic era they used to think that if they put the way we have in india we have uh, scary faces uh, pasted over our homes and front facade of our buildings we do that so as to avoid evil so as to avoid negative energies inside a house in the same way goths uh, thought that if they introduce these kind of sculptures in their buildings it will keep away the negative energies other than that they were also uh, most people don't know about this but they were used as ducts uh, beside this area the, this whole thing that you see this is carrying a this is a kind of a pipe it is a kind of a duct which is taking out the water and it can be used for rain water rain water harvesting the water from above through rains is collected through these pipes and they fall out like this so this becomes one fountain it becomes evil eye plus it becomes a duct so it was functional as well as it was aesthetically used as one element of gothic architecture so these six uh, sorry these eight features are the main features that were there in gothic architecture and in the next lecture i'll tell you about the different types of pointed arches that they used to have we just had a common brief discussion about arches but they introduced four to five types of arches which were used in different kind of buildings that we'll study uh, that we'll study in the next lecture so thank you so much see you in the next lecture